everyone, I'm Riley, and this is our hand washing experiment. So, what we're gonna need for this experiment is some rubber gloves, um, glitter bug UV disclosing lotion, um, a UV light, a hand sanitizer, and any household object of your choice, I chose a pair of scissors. And we're also going to need like a kitchen or bathroom sink, anywhere that you can get soap or water in. Um, so as we know, the world we live in today is full of bacteria, pathogens, um, viruses, also known as germs. So a large contributing factor to how germs spread is by surface contact. So to help you visualize this, we're going to have this UV lotion to represent germs, and this is just going to be an object that has been infected by germs. So we're going to put the gloves on so it doesn't get on us, because you'll see why we don't want it getting on me in a minute. And we're gonna put this on our hands or on the gloves and then we're going to rub this on the scissors until it's invisible I should have put the other glove so yeah yes so we're going to rub this in so now I'll be right back with you we're gonna go into a place where we can turn the lights off completely so we can see the full effect of the UV light so here we have the scissors that have been infected by the sick person's germs. There's nothing visible on the scissors at the moment, but when I turn off the lights and take the UV light and turn it on, you realize that it's covered in this glowing material which is supposed to represent germs. Now, what happens when someone who's not infected with these germs, let's say these virus germs, touches them? I'll show you right now. So when I turn the lights off and I put it on my hand, a second, you realize that my hands don't have really anything on them. But if I decide to pick up the scissors, say I'm using them for, an, like for a project or something and I'm using them, and then I put them back down, not knowing that there are germs on them, and I put the light under my hands now, you realize that they are now covered in germs. So typically, someone's not gonna know if their hands are covered in germs, so they'll go throughout their day, maybe their nose will be itchy, so they'll scratch their nose, or they'll rub their eyes if they're tired or something. And throughout the day, we just end up touching our face, and we don't see the germs, but our face ends up getting covered in them. So this is where hand washing and using hand sanitizer come in handy. And that brings us to the question of our experiment. What is more effective in hand washing? Actual soap and water or hand sanitizer? Great, now that we have the problem to our experiment, it's time to hypothesize which means making an educated guess based on the knowledge we already have that will predict the outcome of the experiment. So, since our question is what is more beneficial to hand washing, actually using soap and water or using hand sanitizer, my hypothesis is that using soap and water to wash your hands is gonna help eliminate the germs faster than using hand sanitizer. So now it's time to test our experiment. So now we're going to take our UV disclosing lotion and rub it all over our hands to represent the amount of germs that we accumulate just by living a normal day. Great, now that we know that my hands are covered in these artificial germs, we're going to take hand sanitizer, put a little bit of it on our hands, and we're going to rub it in for 20 seconds. As you can see, as you... As you can see, even after using the hand sanitizer for 20 seconds, there are still plenty of germs on my hands. Now that we know that there are still germs on my hands even after using hand sanitizer, we're gonna take some soap and we're gonna wash my hands in the sink for 20 seconds. Now we're gonna put the UV light over my washed hands and we're gonna realize that there still may be some germs left, but it's a significantly less amount than there was before. Okay, 
So now that we've already proven once that using hand sanitizer does not eliminate as many germs as hand washing does, we're still not done. A good scientist always tries to replicate the results of their experiments at least three times. So I'll be right back. I'm going to redo the experiment three more times and share my results with you. And then we will analyze the data and draw conclusions. Okay, so now that we've collected data from all of our three trials, it's time to analyze it. Out of the three trials we've run, hand, hand washing has proven to reduce the amount of germs on my hands more than hand sanitizer has. From this, it's time to start drawing conclusions. A conclusion to our experiment is basically a statement made to wrap up the whole experiment saying if our hypothesis from earlier was correct or not and why. So, from these results that we have gotten through our experiments, it's safe to say that our hypothesis that hand sanitizing does not eliminate as many germs as hand washing does was correct because out of the three trials we ran, it's proven that the glow on my hands was reduced more when hand washing was involved. Nowadays, hand washing is more important than it has ever been due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Nowadays, it is each of ours individual responsibilities to limit the spread of germs on our hand. So now that we've seen how easy it is for germs to spread from one place to another and for someone to get sick, I hope that this can help you understand the importance of washing hands and keeping each other safe throughout this difficult time. Thank you and have a nice day.